Hi, my name is Tony Cruz, and I'm a professional cyclist. Um, I'm an Olympian. I used to race with Toyota United, um, Discovery Channel, BMC, US Postal, and I also raced on the Reno Wheelman. And I actually lived in Reno for seven years. One of the keys to my success as a cyclist was riding Mount Rose Highway. But what Mount Rose did for me as a, as a cyclist, as a pro, was it enabled me to really simulate mountain passes that you'd see in the Tour or in the Giro. And it gave me the opportunity to visualize myself in a real world setting um, while I was able to do my efforts. And it made that transition to climbing in Europe and climbing for 30 minutes to an hour much more um, attainable. Mount Rose would be categorized in a Grand Tour as a Category 1 climb because of the elevation um, that we gain. Um, once we get to the top or ascend the mountain. So I always did Mount Rose. I started my training on Mount Rose at Virginia Highway because I wanted to experience the, the full length of the climb and made sure that you know I was truly going from the base to the top. And it would take me over 55 minutes to, uh, to crest the, the mountain. In riding Mount Rose, I would say the first three to four months, there were always certain points where I would start to sort of lose my focus and fade a little bit in my efforts and it always seemed to come right as I, hit, I would hit the slight mountainside. And then that would happen again maybe a mile and a half from the summit where the pitch would really pick up and um, all I could do was just keep, keep focused and keep rolling. Um, even though the effort wasn't as strong as it should have been, it was just a matter of riding through it and working through it and repetition was really if you want to improve your time for riding uh, up to the top of Mount Rose, you need to give yourself a good three to four weeks of just riding it and gradually building up, um, maybe doing a series of efforts, um, I would say a good five to six from the bottom to the top, and then put in like a time trial effort from the bottom to the top to uh, kind of gauge and see where you're at. Excellent, really good job. Girl? Yep, love a girl. Oh, yeah. Hold it. Yeah, sign up for there me. There you go. There you go. There you go. go. Right. There you go. Who are we cheering for? Daddy. Daddy. Tony. All right. Thanks, guys.
awesome job. Hey. You look good on that. How do you feel? It was hard. <laughs> it was a tough ride. T very tough at the top. Is he going to come back and do some more? Of course. Great, thanks. Well, Jordan, it looked like you just took it easy out there today. Kind of a little, very little effort. What'd you think? It's a, it's a long climb. It's tough. So what kind of time do you have, Jordan? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm hoping on, I was close to 105. Oh, that'd be so, awesome. So yeah. how'd it feel? It hurt a lot. So how does this one compare with the other climbs? Uh, it's a lot longer. It's a little bit flatter. Um, I like the Geiger more than this one, but <laughs> this was fun. Lots of people to catch. So what'd you guys think of the climb? It's stronger. It's, awesome. You know, it's fun. suffer fast Perfect almighty. So what kind of time did you have, you think? Well, I don't, it doesn't really matter. It's just that it's 25 minutes faster than last year. That's, what, that's what's important. Yeah. You dropped the chain. Really I dropped awesome. my chain, yeah. Dropped full uh, yeah. Was, uh, right. schlack right there. Yeah, I did. Pulled it, pulled it and in. And I the pulled schlack. the confident one. I was like, are yeah. you kidding me? See, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd like to wait for you. But A really, really bad, bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you say that? Because it was all uphill. <laughs> it just hurt so bad. <laughs> It always hurts. Uh, good. Legs felt good, hard, you know, it's what we love. I got to ride today with my son who passed me, but it's kind of thrilling to be able to ride this with your son. It's a great day. Our third place was Jeff Stein. Second place was Zach Dayton. was Deb Devine. Second place was Ann Eatinger. There you go. And first place overall at the time of 119.34 was Laura Lindgren. <laughs> and first place was Carl Nielsen with a time of one hour, 31 seconds. First place was Janice Broad. There you go. And then in the open men category, third place was Nicholas Jimenez. Second place was Elliot Drake. And first place with a time of one hour, 22 seconds, and the fastest time of the day was Chris McGovern. Thank everybody for participating in our series and we hope to see you next year.